Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMDF 30 day ensembles for today's first video. It's going to take us to the end of the year. So we go to week 52, which is the last week of 2018 with this update. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks very shortly. Just to say that today's second video came out later on this afternoon on the homepage. We'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. Uh, cold easy winds could be on the way next week. We'll have more on that in today's second video. And then uh, tonight we've got uh, your uh, latest Christmas update. I think we're up to update number 15 now uh, for the Christmas updates. But starting us off today is the um, ECMDF 30 day look ahead. So uh, we're up at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this. Big thank you to them for supplying us with the ECMDF 30 day uh, anomaly. So um, we can't show you mean sea level pressure or 500 millibar heights, unfortunately, with this. But uh, you can get a broad idea from the temperature and precipitation anomalies of what the ECMDF is going to be uh, forecasting. So we're uh, in week 49 to start us off, which of course is week one for our forecast period, but it's week 49 for the uh, year. It's taking us from the uh, from the 3rd through to the 9th of December. We find that it's a little bit colder than average to the north of the UK, so around Norway, some parts of Scandinavia, slightly below average temperature anomalies there, and we have becoming a little bit colder than average for parts of Scotland as well. Uh, England, Wales and Ireland still looking uh, milder than average. And then most of Central uh, Western Europe coming out much warmer than average. So we've got sort of France, Germany, low countries uh, having temperature anomalies around 3 to 6 degrees above average. So a very mild week coming up for these central parts of Europe. But also above average down across Spain and Portugal. Most of the Mediterranean and Italy also coming out milder than average. Going into the northeast of Europe, it's a little bit cooler up there, and then it does go cooler than average down this eastern side of Europe and down into the southeast of the Med, so around Greece. Uh, it looks a little bit colder than average there, and going up towards the Black Sea, also rather uh, colder than average. So, cold and average in the far east and southeast, a little bit cooler than average in weekend in the far northwest, otherwise, it's a pretty mild scene in the week ahead. Precipitation anomalies look like this. So where it's mildest, it's also wettest. Many central uh, and western parts of Europe coming out with above average precipitation anomalies in the uh, week ahead. Also looking rather unsettled up over Scandinavia as well. UK, a bit of a mixed bag, a little bit drier than average for northern parts of the country, a little bit wetter than average down across England, Wales and the Republic of Ireland. You'll notice, mate, it's a lot drier than average here uh, kind of like to the west of uh, Norway and going out towards Iceland. So this is telling us that we have got high pressure influences within the northern latitudes beginning to appear. So there's obviously going to be some sort of area of high pressure going on up here. Uh, and that's going to be forcing the jet stream kind of like in map positions, I would have thought. So the most essential conditions are going through southern parts of the UK or to the south of the UK and into parts of France, Germany, low countries, those sort of areas. Down in the Med, it's a fairly dry season. It's quite a nice week coming up, actually, for much of the Med. If you want a, uh, if you want a late autumn or early winter holiday to Mediterranean, it looks OK. A bit warmer than average and also drier than average across much of the Mediterranean, away from Greece, where we know it is quite a bit colder. And then we're through to week two, or week 50 for the year. This takes us from the 10th through to the 16th of December. And a big change from last week. Last week, the ECMDF uh, was going for uh, really quite a mild month. Now we see that in week two, week 50 for this year, uh, we're forecast to be colder than average across most parts of Europe. So this is a big change. And it does tell us that the model is really struggling at the moment. We've got a uh, very uncertain, a lot of uncertainty here in the model output. So um, how seriously we take these 30-day updates at the moment, I'm not sure, because it's a big flip of what the ECM was showing last week. So we see that most of the Europe is actually coming out with below average temperature anomalies in this week, which is Scandinavia coming out with a cold and average temperature anomaly. Most central parts of Europe are forecast to be cold and average down to the southeast of Europe. It's cold and average there. For the UK and Ireland, we're actually closer to average. So we're not as cold over in the UK and Ireland as most parts of Europe, I suppose, because we've probably got uh, easterly winds going on. We've got high pressure 
uh, up here. It is warmer than average around Iceland and going up towards the Arctic. So that's bringing out, uh, bringing around easy winds. And I suppose the model is thinking that those easy winds are being modified by the temperatures in the North Sea and in the Irish Sea. So for the UK, we come out just slightly cold of an average an island uh, as those east winds have to go over both the North Sea and the Irish Sea. Ireland comes out around average with the temperature uh, anomaly. Spain and Portugal close to average temperature anomalies there and in the very far southeast, particularly focused around Turkey and the Black Sea we find um, it's a little bit warmer than average there but uh, really quite a cold week being forecast by the ECM there and I say that is very very different to what the ECMWF was showing uh, last week. Precipitation anomalies look like this, so it's wetter than average down in the southeast, above average precipitation anomalies in the far southeast of Europe, so from Greece, Turkey, around the Black Sea, going up to the southern part of Russia. It looks quite a bit uh, above average precipitation there. Otherwise, most places coming out average to drier than average. It's drier than average around Scandinavia and to the north of Scotland as well, telling us that we've uh, probably got high pressure blocking things out in those areas. Jet stream's going to be going up there somewhere. Um, so, uh, yeah, it looks a fairly dry, uh, fairly dry week, but a cold week there uh, from the 10th through to the 16th of December through most parts of Europe. And then find another change as we go through to week three. But again, how soon as we take this? I'm not sure because there was absolutely no sign of a cold of an average week in last week's 30-day update. So the model hadn't got that spotted at all last week. And uh, here we go with this week. And it is there for uh, for our second uh, week from the attempt of 16th. So how soon as we take anything else that this model is showing at the moment, I think we have to be really cautious. But this is the temperature anomaly from the 17th to the 23rd of December. We see those cold and average anomalies are fading away quite rapidly. It's still, it's still a little bit cold and average around Denmark, around the Baltic uh, sort of areas, a little bit cold of an average there. Uh, many southwestern and southern parts of Europe are going milder than average. So France is going back to milder than average temperature on Spain and Portugal going back to milder than average temperature on Much of the central basin of the Med and Italy also going back to above average temperature anomalies. So it seems like it's a rather milder week in the south and perhaps a bit of a colder week still up in the north. But again, it's a, it's a weaker signal and I think you have to be careful about how seriously uh, we take that. But broadly, southern Europe going milder. Northern Europe probably hinting at still being a bit on the cold side. If anything, precipitation-wise, we're looking like this. So more unsettled in the west. UK, Ireland, France, Spain, Portugal. We're going back to slightly above average precipitation, probably indicating that the Atlantic and the jet stream is starting to return after that colder interlude. Uh, over in the east and the northeast of Europe, it's looking a little bit drier than average there, maybe telling us that the blocking high is being pushed back towards the east of Europe uh, once again. But how to emphasize, really uncertain. The model did not have this uh, cold week, but but it's forecasting now the next week in its sights in last week's update. And then finally we go through to the last week of the year. This is taking us from the 24th Christmas Eve through to the 30th of December. And we go back over Christmas to much milder than average conditions. So again, we see much of Scandinavia forecast to be average to a little bit milder than average and then we have all of these central parts of Europe and Western Europe coming out milder than average uh, as well. So rapidly returning back to milder than average conditions over Christmas with the ECMWF. And it looks like it's turning quite unsettled as well. So again, in the northwest of Europe, we're coming out with above average precipitation. Northern France, Ireland, the UK, um, parts of Scandinavia, above average precipitation, average to above average precipitation, let's say. Otherwise, no real clear signal. The signal is weakening for precipitation, as it often does when you get through to week four, maybe hinting at a bit drier than average down in the southeast. I would be really, really cautious about those weeks three and four temperature anomalies. The fact that it's trying to end the cold spell 
uh, but we're getting week two. Uh, it's trying to end it very quickly and returns back to milder than average conditions. I mean, it may work out right, but it, it, that will tie in with the Gazza of his winter forecast because we predicted that um, December we'll have a, maybe a couple of colder interludes, but it won't be a particularly cold month in its own right. So that probably does tie in with Gazza of his winter forecast. But the fact that this model did not have this cold week coming up next week spotted last week uh leads um leads us to st have to say very cautious about this it's clearly defaulting to a milder uh situation and uh it's going over top with its, with its mild and average temperature anomalies as many of these long range models do they do have that tendency to default back to mild conditions and uh, i think you just need to stay very careful about the second half of december at the moment it looks like it's going to get cold next week. And then where we go beyond that, we may have a rapid warm-up. The cold might turn out to be uh, a lot more stubborn, though, than the modern is thinking. So I think we'll know more next week, actually, about where this is going. But uh, certainly the first half of December, very mild start, as we know. Right now it is very mild, but colder weather on the way next week. And we'll have more about that in today's second video update. So come back for that then. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.